something like that. Okay, um, it's a race to get the door. Are you touching me? Colin, let's go and get that back up. Okay, so last one we have here is going to be 270 degrees. <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, again, the exact same thing. We've started with this black figure, the black triangle right here. Okay, then we rotated it 90 degrees to get the green, rotated 180 to get our pink, and now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it 270 to get our final rotation. So the one thing we need to obviously understand is, well, what is the rule then for 270? Because I kind of understand this rotating thing, but I want to know what if I want to know what the exact coordinates are going to be. So when I rotate something, we'll talk about that in a second. So when rotating 270 degrees, to find the exact coordinates, 270 degrees counterclockwise, you swap the y and the x, and you negate the neg and you negate the x. So, so therefore, my new points, which I'm going to call L triple prime, because I'm just doing this transformation three times, um, is now going to be one comma negative one. Q triple prime is now going to be negative two negative five, and P triple prime is now going to be negative three comma negative one. All right. So as I go to graph this, yes. You swap it and then negate the x value, which is now in the y coordinate form. Look at you swap them, and then you make your five negative. Well, don't make it negative. You just do the opposite sign. Okay, Colin, do you have an understanding of this? Do you really do you get that? Because that's the main important thing I want you to have. So now let's go and plot these. So I have one negative one, that is L triple prime. Then I have negative 2, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is Q, triple prime. Then I have P, negative 1, 2, 3, negative 1. That's P, triple prime. So ladies and gentlemen, you can see that now that is what my triangle is going to look like from those coordinates. So Shane, as you write that down, let's go and pass the sheet of paper around. Because this is the most important thing that I want you guys to understand about this. Okay. First of all, let's go back to our triangle again. And let's first, I now have so many angles. Let's first confirm what our triangle should look like 90, 180. 270. So I should have a triangle that looks something like this. Does that look fairly close? Yeah. Okay. So now, if I'm at my triangle, ladies and gentlemen, and that's 270 degrees, right? That's at 270 degrees. Let's go back. So I can rotate this again, 270 in the counterclockwise direction, but as Shane mentioned, what happens if I rotate it clockwise 90 degrees? Do I get to the same exact rotation? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what is important for you guys to know, what is important for you guys to know is that this rotation is good for 90 degrees counter, or sorry, 270, not, uh, 270 degrees counterclockwise, which is also the same as 90 degrees clockwise. OK? It's the exact same. 270 counterclockwise, exact same as 90 clockwise. OK? So what I'd like you guys to do now um, is take out your assignment organizer so I can walk around and check.